If you can remember way back when, when this Malawi 110 came in, that Curtis and Ludi steam cleaned the bejesus out of this, and also they used my needle gun, put your hands over your ears, to get off the excess paint. Well, a few months has Stop it. Mind of its own. So a few months have passed and it's been outside and it's been in weather and this that and the other now is the time for doing rust proofing however once I got it up in the air because I've got the fuel tank sender to fit and, and rubbish like that but I thought let's have another go at this black paint that wouldn't come off the steam cleaner wouldn't touch it and the needle gun wouldn't touch it all those months ago however now weather's got to it you know expansion and contraction what's going to happen? Let's wait and see. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so let's let's have a look at. As you can see, I bet you're all deaf now, aren't you? Um, it's all come off. Yeah, a few months ago, wouldn't even touch it. So my job, because I have to accept it, because Ludy's not here and Curtis won't come here. Uh, well, he will, but he's busy doing gardening. I'm going to take all the rest of that loose paint off under all of the car. And then we're going to apply a better product. Because this was just paint over dirt. And I had a sneaking feeling that it wouldn't stick. But I was quite surprised the steam cleaner wouldn't take it off. Anyway, we're going to go over the, all the chassis and it's such a disappointment with this Malawi one that it was in such good condition and then they decided to put some black paint on top of dirt. Anyway, let me get on with that. Right, once we've got all that black crap off... Oh, my air gun's not working properly anyway. We've got to get all this dust out of these tubes here. Watch. See? What a shitty job! What a crappy job, eh? No wonder they won't want to do it. So, don't put any uh, rust proofing or body coating over dust. It's a terrible job. But look, it's so easy to do. I mean, you know, these are all rust traps. Land Rover's defenders are rust traps. You know, they are. They're just, they're just a half baked idea for rust. You know, like, well, you'll, you'll get lots of rust. But there weren't any idea for preserving the bodywork, and especially aluminium and steel. I don't know what the hell they were thinking of, but it seemed a good idea at the time. I'm going to keep blowing this off, and then we'll put some rust coat right, in. Right, what we're going to use... Oops, looks like we've got a hat on, doesn't it? It looks like my birthday. Let's hang that over here. What we're going to use to protect this body and cut the sound and uh, things like this, we're going to use a Proform uh, PF... 560. I use this a lot, foot wells and all sorts of stuff. Tidies up this job tremendously, 
But then we're going to put some crown rust proofing over the top. The thing is to tidy it up, um, you know, it's not too bad. But I don't know why the hell they painted over muck. It's pathetic, wouldn't it? And so much for coming into Canada for agriculture, Canada looking for dirt, eh? Most of it's on my bloody floor. Look at it down here. Look at that. You can get cleansing. So how does this stuff go? Goes like that. Nice. And it sticks again like feces to a hairy blanket. I've been using this for years. The thing is it's a nice it's a nice finish and it's paintable. But it really does stick. So let me get on with that and let's have a look around when I've finished. So after a good dusting down and two cans, it's made a nice barrier and it'll stick to that metal, you know, the paintwork and things like that. I haven't done the chassis. The chassis paintwork is really, really good. But this stuff also does uh, like a soundproofing. It takes a little bit, a bit that uh, knock from the panels. Um, but it certainly looks an awful lot better than it was. So now I can shoot that with Crown once it's dry and it'll make a really super barrier. I know it's a bit of a cop out, but if it wasn't painted in the bloody first place I wouldn't have to do this. But it's, uh, it's all nicely protected well underneath. So now all I've got to do is the rest of the car. We'll see you later and I'll show you what it looks like.